Good evening. Today has seen the first significant disturbances of the COP26 climate conference. Hundreds of climate activists staged several protests in Glasgow city centre. There were scuffles and two arrests after police officers were sprayed with paint. Protesters accused the police of being aggressive. The protest came on the day the conference discussed the finances of climate change. The Chancellor Rishi Sunak said it wasn't just governments who should fund the global fight against climate change, the private sector needed to step up too. Now we should warn you, there may be some flashing images as we go live to the protests in Glasgow. And our reporter Susan Ripple is there for us now. Susan. Yes, well, they're moving very slowly through the city centre. This is us now on the Broomy Law in Glasgow, heading towards the SEC, which is, of course, where the conference is being held. They were held by police uh, up at the Lloyds Bank building for around about an hour and a half. They then moved them on to Renfield Street. Now, if you don't know Glasgow well, Renfield Street is one of the main bus arteries in the city. We were speaking to some people who were waiting there for well over an hour to try and get a bus home tonight. We've been speaking to protesters who have been out with the, those that have been held by the police, and they've been frustrated at the way the police have handled this today. One of them saying that his girlfriend, uh, who was inside, wasn't even allowed to go out at one point to go to the toilet. Police have been saying that two arrests have been made today, and that was after uh, a number of police officers were assaulted with um, after being sprayed with paint. They've been saying they're protecting rights of people who wish to protest peacefully, but that assaults on officers are totally unacceptable. Well, my colleague Brandon Cook has been following the protesters for most of the day. Noisy, colourful and in the end, Manny. Activists from the Climate Action Group Extinction Rebellion started their day peacefully on Buchanan Street steps. But within the space of just a few hours, hundreds spread over the city centre. This is where frustration was built. Protesters blocked by police from walking down Glasgow's Sucky Hall Street. The police have decided to stop us here. I don't know if they think that the police crimes and sentencing bill has already passed. That seems to be how they're acting. Um, but the Metropolitan uh, Police Commander is saying, you've got to wait here, I've got to wait for orders from my boss. But it's a peaceful march and isn't, you know, isn't the protest the cornerstone of our democracy. We're not here to hurt anyone. After a long wait with no movement, the activists changed course. A new spontaneous route formed, protesters parading along busy streets, disrupting traffic as police try to keep up. Well, I think it's fair to say this wasn't meant to happen. Protesters were trying to get along Sucky Hall Street. Now they're walking past Queen Street Station. This road wasn't meant to be blockaded off today, but now they're walking into oncoming traffic. Some gathered in George Square, others outside the office building of energy giant SSE. Two arrests were made after a number of officers were sprayed with paint. Up the hill, more gathered. The pack swayed towards St Vincent Street, police blocking them on either side. This crowd control tactic is called kettling. Protesters were unable to leave for hours. I was in one of the kind of, well, fortunate ones in the sense that I'm not in there. Uh, and we were, we'd gone for a break, came back and, our, and the whole lot had been kept inside. I can understand that they don't want everybody out in one go, but letting people out in drips and drabs would make sense. How you long know? are you willing to stay here? It looks like as if they... Literally they, right they, now, I, I just don't know. I mean, I just can't answer the question because I just don't know what's happening. Protesting, so far, had been uneventful in Glasgow. That changed this afternoon. Bigger demonstrations are planned to culminate this weekend. Brandon Cook, STV News.